Let's put a few down range and see what I can do with this fine, fine wheel gun. Very nice. Welcome to This Old Gun. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. Today we're going to be looking at a variation of the Colt New Service known as the Colt Shooting Master. And this one's in 38 Special. Uh, they made these from right around 1928, right on up until 1938. So no discussion of the Shooting Master would be complete without at least mentioning the Colt New Service, which is, in my opinion, one of the best pistols that Colt ever made in terms of a revolver next to the Python. About 356,000 of them made from 1898 right on up until 1946. And it was a large frame gun made in a variety of different calibers. And they were very popular with police, military, and sportsmen alike. So with this gun being so well loved, it was only pertinent that uh, there'd be a target model of this gun that would come out. And so originally they would just kind of add some certain features to this gun, like they would put checkering on the trigger and the front and the back strap and um, they'd put some different sights on it and just call it and it would still be called a new service but eventually Colt decided you know what we need to make a gun that is kind of based off the new service but has its own you know its own variation that you can special order and so behold in 1928 the Colt shooting master was born and it is quite a fun gun to shoot and we're gonna go out to the range right now and take a few shots with it all right I've got one of Colt's finest revolvers ever made, in my personal opinion. It's not only is it a Colt new service type revolver, but it is also the Shooting Master Colt. Let's put a few down range and see what I can do with this fine, fine wheel gun. Very nice. That is a very, very smooth gun to shoot. So as you'll notice on this gun, it's got some pretty adjustable sights on it, which was uh, pretty indicative of a shooting master. And you'll see a round butt on the shooting master as well. There's going to be some checkering on the hammer as well as on the trigger and the front and the back strap. Um, there's also going to be adjustable sights. The rear sight's going to be adjustable, the front sight's going to be adjustable for elevation. And oftentimes that was as much as Colt did. They came with standard grips um, and usually if you wanted anything beyond that, there were a lot of private gunsmiths that were known to work on these. And often if you see different grips or a different sighting system on these guns, usually they belonged to the work of private gunsmiths. Another thing to keep in mind with this gun is, especially with um, shooting matches, they were usually done outdoors. And so in order to keep the glare and the glint um, from uh, impeding the shooter up the top of the gun, and usually around the hammer, there was some sand, uh, sanding that would be done up on the top and around the hammer on the frame area as well. So just keep that in mind if you end up finding one of these guns and kind of looking for what to look for in a shooting master, if you should find one. So come on down to Cape Gunworks if you want to take a look at this nice example of a variant of the Colt New Service, the Colt Shooting Master. I'd be happy to show it to you, or if you happen to have a Colt New Service or a Shooting Master, I'd love to take a look at it and tell you a little bit about it. And don't forget to go to my website at www.capegunworks.com forward slash TOG to check out some previous episodes and some merchandise, including some targets that I've shot in previous episodes. I'm Russell from Cape Gunworks. I'll see you around.